Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to add any song as a ringtone on your iPhone and this is going to be without a computer, completely free and very easy. Let's get started. All right, so we've got the iPhone 14 Pro, but like I said, this will work on pretty much any iPhone that has at least a recent version of iOS installed. It'll also work on iPads for different ringtones, text tones, and any alert tones you see in the sounds and haptics section. Now, I strongly recommend you watch this entire video as there are a lot of steps, but it is very easy and I'll do my best to make it as simple as possible for you to follow. If you have any questions throughout, just leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up Safari and we're gonna go to the website zedge.net. Now they are not a supporter of the channel. They don't pay me or anything like that. It's just what I've been using for years as I've been making these videos. Now, when you go to that page, it's gonna take you to a page very similar to this one right here you're going to tap on the three lines at the top right and we're going to tap on browse now now this is the website we're going to be using to download our ringtones because they are completely free but you can use any website that you download music from or that you use to get songs or anything like that now when you get to this page here make sure you don't click on get app you have to use the mobile site to get these ringtones it just works that way so first off let's click on ringtones here and it's going to bring up a whole bunch of ringtones that apply to this sort of month or what they're promoting at the time and right now it's all christmas stuff you can see we have jingle bell rock here if we tap on it you get a quick preview of it you can listen to them before you download them or you can even use the search bar up here and just type anything you want for example if you're looking for drake songs here we go you got hotline bling there there's a whole bunch drake here some drake little audio clips and stuff like that it's totally up to you keep in mind this website is not going to provide everything for you so you may want to search other websites as well now that we've got the basics out of the way let's download our first ringtone to our iphones so just going to scroll around or search for it and when you find the one you like you're going to tap outside or away from that play button so we're going to tap carol of bells it's going to open up a page like this you may get another preview you are seeing ads and you are being prompted to download the app don't do that just tap on continue on browser at the bottom and it may take two clicks here but it'll bring you to that page see there it took three for me but just keep tapping on it until it brings you to this page here you've got your preview in the middle you can tap to hear it or you can tap download down here we're gonna tap download, it's going to open up this queue. We have to wait 10 seconds, and then we'll be prompted to download it through Safari. So when the prompt appears, just tap download. It'll start downloading, you'll see that at the top right there. If you tap on that little download icon, it's going to show you a downloads option, a downloads folder. So you can tap here, it'll open it up and you'll be able to see the actual file that you downloaded. When they're done, you can clear them if you want, it doesn't matter. But basically, it's going to download to your files application. So you wanna find that, tap on it, open it up and you can see we have a browse tab here. If we tap on browse, it's gonna bring up all of these options. It's traditionally going to save in the download section and you can see we have Carol of Bells, Carol of Bells 2. I actually was testing this out just before I made this video, but that's just so you know where the file is. Otherwise, it doesn't matter right now that they're in there, but we will be referencing that a little bit later. So now that our file is downloaded, we're going to use an application called GarageBand. This is free. It's traditionally installed on the iPhones. When you purchase it, if you deleted it, just open up the App Store and search for GarageBand, download it. It is quite a big file and then you're gonna to wanna to open that application. Now, if it's the first time you're opening GarageBand, it's going to take you through a quick tutorial. You're gonna tap continue, continue, continue until you're brought to a page similar to this where you have all your options. We're just gonna scroll across here until we find the one that's called Audio Recorder, and we're gonna tap on that. Now, from this recorder here, we do need to turn off a few things. First, this metronome, make sure that it is off. You can see in blue, that means it's enabled. When you tap on it, it turns white, so make sure that is turned white. And then you're gonna also wanna click on this little square icon, looks like little bricks. And when you tap on that, it's going to bring up a little microphone, and now we have a timeline where we can add our ringtone. Next, we're going to set up how long our ringtone is going to last when it rings. So you're going to tap on that little plus at the top right, very small. Give that a quick tap. It's going to open up a section right here, and you can see it says eight bars. We're going to tap on that, and we're going to set it to 30. So 30 bars right there, and everything else you can leave as is. Tap done. And then now we're going to tap this little loop icon here so we can add our file that we just downloaded. 
When you tap there, it brings up these little options here. We don't need to deal with this right here. We're gonna go straight to files because that's where I showed you earlier that it was saved. So we tap on files here at the top and you can tap browse items from the files app. So you don't need to really know about the files app, you just wanna be able to find it. So it's going to pull up recent. If your ringtone isn't there, again, you go to browse, search your folders. Again, I told you it should be in the downloads folder and then you can just tap on it like that. Give it a second, it should download here and keep in mind that the file types that you can use for these ringtones are all here. You see it says Apple Loops, AAC, MP3, and so on. I recommend finding MP3s, they just work the easiest. So once it's there, you're gonna tap and hold and you're gonna kinda of drag it like this. It's a weird thing that you'd have to do. I'd rather just tap it, but you tap, hold, and then it just opens up your timeline. You just drag it in there. Now make sure that you do drag it to the top or the left of the timeline. So you can tap and drag things like this as well. So if you move it, but you want it to be all the way to the left so that it does start that ringtone at that point. You can also take these two handles so if you have a song that's a little bit longer or you just want like the chorus of the song you can drag these handles inwards and then kind of uh, have a starting point of where you want it but I want it where it was when I downloaded it so it's gonna give me the complete ringtone as it was created now once your ringtone is the way you want it you're just going to tap on this little arrow at the top left and then tap my songs now the one that you created is going to appear right here and all you have to do at this point is tap and hold on it Scroll down to where you see share, tap share, and then just select tap to create a custom ringtone for your iPhone. So we'll tap that option. It's gonna bring up a page here where we can name the ringtone so we know what it is. So we're gonna say Christmas song or whatever. I'm just gonna put uh, Christmas for this one. And then we're gonna tap done and export it. So we're gonna tap export. Don't turn the phone off or anything. Just let it export it as a ringtone. Shouldn't take too long because they're pretty short. We'll tap OK. And now if we open our settings application, tap on sounds and haptics, tap on ringtone or any of these tones. We'll start with ringtone. You can see the ringtone I just created and named Christmas is now there. If I tap on it, it starts playing and now anytime I get a call, it's going to use that ringtone. And like I said, you can use these same ringtones for any one of these options here. So if you use text tones, you'll have to scroll down right here to where the ringtone section is and you'll see it there as well. So this is how you can take any song and turn it into a ringtone for your iPhone for free without a computer. And although it does have a lot of steps, it works great. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Also, don't forget we have tons of tips, tricks, and tutorial videos on the iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, all kinds of great tech devices to help you get the most out of them. So definitely check out the playlist in the description if you're looking to learn more. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. As always, I will see you in the next one.